Hello, everybody. I can't believe that this week I will be 80 years old. And here I am being videographed by my grandson, Kai Dawkins. What a beautiful day God has blessed us with and has blessed me so many times during my 80 years. This is a wonderful day. And to God, I give all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you. Have a great day. A good time, everybody, here or wherever you may be. Okay, bye. My name is Abel James. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 Iola, you've been an inspiration to many. And I'm so pleased to see how your life has um, influenced so many. And I'm very happy that I'm able to celebrate with you your 80th birthday. May God continue to bless you. And wish you, I wish you many, many more happy ones. Hi, Dr. Brown. This is Herma Burnett. Have a happy birthday. God bless you. Love you. Hi, this is, this is Denise. I want to wish you a happy birthday and many more. Ola James. Hi, Iola. Nice to be able to come and enjoy your 80th with you. I know you have been trying to chase me down, but girl, you have not catch me yet. And you will never catch me because as you come, I go. May you be blessed this day. Thank you for having me here. Charles and Cindy Lock, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hello, Ayola. This is Keith Lee Sutton. On behalf of Angelica, Orville, Keith Lee and Edson, I'm wishing a very, very happy birthday. As a matter of fact, how about uh, trying to get to 100, you know? Yeah, not so very far away. <laughs> so, blessings on you of every kind. Bye for now. Stephen Libby, Iola, I wish you a happy birthday to an extraordinary woman. And I wish you many more. Have a blessed day. Iola, this is Earl and Janice. Just wishing you a very happy birthday. It's been a lot of years but you have done well. Congratulations on all your successes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Iola. May God bless you and may you have many more. Eugenie. Hi, Iola. Have a happy, happy birthday. I know you will. Enjoy the day. Kristen McGuire. Uh, Iola. Happy birthday. It's such a privilege to know you. You're so full of life and I may God give you many more joyful and energetic years. Hello and happy birthday Iola. It's George and Reba here and we want to tell you we really appreciate you, all you do for us and for our church family and we wish you the happiest happy super day today special day not only today though Iola may every day be special to you as you walk with Jesus and uh, yeah again we love you and wish you the best always and forever my friend God bless you amen happy birthday Iola we may God continue to bless you and give you many more years of service happy birthday Dr. Iola it's been a pleasure working with you, and I know it will continue to be a pleasure working with you. May the Lord continue to give you the strength that you need to continue to serve Him. We are Ellis. Hi. It's a pleasure, pleasure, Iola, to be able to celebrate with you your 80th birthday. God is good, His many blessings, and we pray that today will be beyond your wildest expectations. God bless, and we'll be cheering you along for as many years as the God will give you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Ken and Janice. And we would like to wish you a hap very happy birthday. Very happy one, <laughs> and wish you many, many more. Actually, 100% more. <laughs> happy 80th, Aunt Iola. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Aunt Iola, happy 80th birthday! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so happy to be here to celebrate you and how you have blessed us all through your years. And I am looking for another, what, 20, 30 more years to celebrate you and be with you. And so I just want to say, I hope you have a beautiful day. May God continue to bless you. Love you. Iola, here to wish you a happy 80th birthday. 
We're so excited to be able to come and share this with you. Um, the thing I remember about Iola, I met her when soon after I met Alva, my wife. And Iola I, I has been the same from day one, always have lots of energy, always encouraging to everyone. So we're just here to celebrate and to encourage you and look forward to the next big birthday party that you have. Enjoy. Hello, this is Lavelle Herbert, um, Aunt Iola's favorite nephew, I like to say. She has so many of them, I know. But it is a sincere pleasure for me to be here to celebrate this occasion with her, this milestone, 80 years. Oh my, God has blessed you tremendously, and we look forward to seeing you for many more years to come. And uh, we, I appreciate you for the many years of encouragement, the many years of support, and the endless prayers that you have offered up on my behalf. And um, I just, uh, uh, I wish you the very best in the years ahead, and I know that God will continue to richly bless you. Enjoy. Happy 80th birthday, Aunt Iola. Hello, my dear sweet Iola. This is Maria and Fred Pensanti. We wish you a very, very happy birthday, and uh, many, many more. Keep the Lord keep you, and as wonderful as you are. We know you so many years and it seems like yesterday. And in fact, the years are going by for us, but you're going backwards. God bless you. God bless you. We love you very much. Hi, I'm Sandra Cook Ho, and I want to wish my Aunt Iola a very happy 80th birthday. Aunt Iola, I wish you many more years of good health and happiness. And I hope that we can visit each other more in the coming years. Happy birthday. Lisa James. Cousin Iola, uh, happy, happy, happy birthday. I am just so happy that God has allowed you to reach this milestone. And I just wanted you to know how appreciative I am that you have been such a wonderful influence on my life. Um, I look back at today's at United Christian Academy and the experiences that I've had there that have helped me to be the person that I am today. May God continue to bless you and may you have many, many, many more. I love you. Thank you, Kai. This is Ambassador Everson Hull for St. Kitts and Nevis, the Ambassador to the U.S. I'm really delighted to see you and absolutely delighted to be here for Iola's 80th birthday. Iola, of course, is my dear aunt. Um, I knew her well, ever since I was born, actually. And um, you know, I really um, admired a great deal her leadership and her academic pursuits and the success that she's achieved in several of her endeavors. She serves as an example to most of us, and particularly her work with the church, and especially the um, leadership that she has shown in establishing a number of schools in Brooklyn, and I think she continues that today. So throughout her career, she has really succeeded, excelled really in the academic sphere and also in her professional pursuits. I have often felt that Iola could really run any of the major uh, managerial positions in any of the federal bureaucracies that are in Washington, D.C., where I've spent most of my life. So I'm absolutely happy to be here. I wish her a very, very happy birthday and all the best to her in the years ahead. Thank you very much. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Aola. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you.
because you are a part of that. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing that you have brought to our church, to our community, and to our lives. The love that she has for the young people and a desire to see them in the kingdom of heaven. We thank you, Lord, for the years and the experience that she has because she has gained those experiences from you and you are. I am Brown's granddaughter. I'd like to present you with a poem titled My Diamond, My Grandmother, is dedicated to you. Woman of God, the diamond is what you are. Beautiful and special and sweet, a diamond a person would strive for. Built with the Lord's armor, a diamond is the hardest thing to break. You are shielded and protected by God. It's still feel, but then they have to kind of do the math and say, well, okay, you may not be quite in your 80s yet. <laughs> you look just like her. So I'm happy to stand in front of hat. And if anybody knows Sylvia, you know that she's never at a loss for words. So it seems now that she's getting a little older, she's getting a little shyer, and so she's asked me to speak. I still share to this day, and even yesterday, 6, 9, 18, multiple, uh, multiple, all three numbers, multiples of three, something only we would care about or notice. I shared that with her. I love the fact that I do. No matter how much I would cry in school sometimes, Scott Brown wouldn't care. She, in fact, would take pictures of me crying just to send to my mom, just to show I was being a bad student. Uncontrollable bladder urge. <laughs> uh, enough of that. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, no, I got, I got one more. There was one 80-year-old woman who said, "I'm seeing five gentlemen, five gentlemen every day. As soon as I wake up, willpower helps me out of bed." Then I go and see John. Uh, yes. <laughs> Next, Charlie Horse comes along, and when he is here, he takes a lot of my time and attention. And when he leaves, Arthur Ritus shows up and stays the rest of the day. He does not like to stay in one place very long, so he takes me from joint to joint. <laughs> and after such a busy day, I'm really tired and glad to go to bed with Ben Gibb. <laughs> This is Iola speaking. The preacher came to call the other day. He said that at my age, I should be thinking about the hereafter. I told him that I do all the time, no matter where I am, in the parlor, upstairs, in the kitchen, or down in the basement. I asked myself, now what am I here after? <laughs>
I had to decide, of course, which high school I was going to attend. I just automatically assumed that I'd be going to Northeastern Academy, which is the academy that my sister, Alba, went to. And it just so happens that my cousin, Iola Brown, started a high school in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, at Seventh-day Adventist High School, the first uh, Seventh-day Adventist High School in Brooklyn. And so my mother, her cousin, said, Lisa, you're going to school there. Um, I was the first in the first class. We, there were only 10 students, I believe, in that class. And the experience that I had there, although I may not have appreciated it at the time, as I look back, um, it has really impacted my life. And your loyalty and support since you moved to Florida. She has been on our executive committee and she does whatever it takes to grow our, our community, our alumni community here. Thank you for coming in tonight uh, at your celebration and uh, we wish you many more years of good health and happy years. Figured that I will have probably live another 80 years. <laughs> I live to see it. I think her energy just keeps her alive, and she is not prepared to die. At least not now. She has too much to do. I was figuring, sitting here, that if I said nothing, I would hear from you tomorrow, <laughs> the day after, and the day after. So I said, Eugenie, you better get up. So, and I'm sitting there and thinking, if I could think of one word that describes I, what word would it be? So I thought, compassionate. Yes, she is compassionate, but that doesn't cover all of it. And then I thought, she's kind. And I think we can all agree that she is kind. She is very thoughtful will go the second mile, and the third mile, and the fourth mile for someone. We get into arguments over that, don't we? Of course. <laughs> and, and she says to me, I know what you're about to say. And I say it anyway. <laughs> and then I thought the one word that describes her is the word nice. She is just simply a nice person. And that might seem like a simple word, but try looking up for all the synonyms for nice in Roger's thesaurus and you'll be turning or dead. <laughs> so, Ayola, you're just a very nice friend. Thank you. And I do love you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Doris, you always, every week, your sister and you used to call me to come home and teach my kids how to read. Um, I can, you know, no words to explain my appreciation, and always just as a caring and wonderful person. Happy birthday. I'm the new, one of the new friends that she's taken on the whole arm. I found out that she has the same interest as I do, which is education. So we talk education, we talk about the learning tree, and basically I just want to say, I just want to grow up, and he's just like I am. <laughs> Good afternoon, and I'm George Crawford from the Apocalypse 7 Baptist Church. And yes. I just want to talk here about my friend. You know, I have the humble privilege of teaching the Sabbath school class that I always remember. You know, everything that's been shared here today about her love for others, her passion for teaching and how she's been a mentor and a leader for so many. The one thing that I really appreciate about Iola, you know, as a teacher of, of the Bible, it, it hurts me to get into Bible study and it just be a didactic information transformation. I want to know how can we see lives transformed and lead people to Jesus. And when I sometimes in class it's hard because the discussion will go off, but over in the my my left corner to the back of the class, I'll ask, I'll say something about Matthew 28, 19, and 20.
20, 18 and 19. Go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of Jesus. And what? And I know the Lord will teaching them everything. Not only does she want to see others learn about the Word of God, but ultimately her question so many times turns to, how can we reach these people? So it's more than just about education and goals we need here on earth. Iola has an eternal vision. That always inspires me. I always appreciate that about her. And I want to just say that 80 years is nothing in the scope of eternity. And that's where we're headed if we follow the follow whom Jesus, excuse me, Iola is following. One of um, my aunt, Dr. Brown's um, nephews, um, and live in Arizona, and my wife, Janice. And one thing I wanted to let everyone know about, about Aunt Taylor is that, I call her Aunt Taylor, but Dr. Brown, is that if she believes in Christian education, she's a product of Christian education, as you've heard. Not only does she believe and is a product of Christian education, every place she's gone, she's made sure, as Lisa has stated, and Alvin, everyone have stated that she has actually um, created opportunities within Christian education. So, New York, what did she do? She created, um, as you might have heard, um, a, a school in New York for Christian, Christian education school. Went to Jersey. What did she do? She created a school to, to uh, because she was not going to stay. Um, um, not she, she was not going to allow any kid to miss the opportunities of getting a Christian education. So it should not be any surprise that here in Florida, what is she going to do and what has she done? been instrumental in creating this a school for Christian education. God has used you and continue to use you in the, ex, in, in, the uh, in the place that he has put you in for education that has affected so many lives. I want to tell you again, happy birthday. We love you. We wish you many more. And don't move from here because if you happen to do so, I know you're going to create a school. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Thank you.
But God has been so good to me through the years. World War II ended in 45. Really? Um, yeah. You know, the Bible says that um, a man is a lot at three score years of ten. And how many years is that where? Alright. <laughs> and if by reason of strength they live ten more years and they're truly blessed. And I feel truly blessed today for all that God has done for me through the years. So I pause now to give thanks to God, first of all, for everything He has done for me, for bringing me through these 80 years without any major illnesses. And, and God just has been good to me. And how you see me operating now is how I've known myself operating from leaders, CSS, Trinidad, wherever I've been. God has been good. This occasion, I hope that everyone is enjoying themselves. Yes. yes. So I count you as my family, but the members of the 